I'm John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. We are at the Ryman Auditorium, and I'm with Mike Cooley of Drive-By Truckers. Mike, thanks so much for joining Thank us, you. man. Thank you. Hey, tell us about these very uh, cool, weird guitars <laughs> you're it's uh, very, yeah, it's a little traveling weird. with. This is, uh, this is uh, pretty much all I use live. Um, that's pretty much all I own. <laughs> uh, I'm not much of a into acquisition, but this is the main electric I use. It's a custom Baxendale built by Scott Baxendale um, in Athens, Georgia. This one was actually built in Denver, Colorado before he moved. But uh, you can see it's kind of Tele-esque. He kind of used a uh, Tele slash Dan Electro. Yeah. So that comes to a little point there. This has humbucking pickups. Um, great all around guitar. I always love Tele's, you know. Oh yeah, and that's, is that a, a Seymour Duncan? Both of them are, okay. yeah. That's a Hot Rails. Hot. And, uh, this is, I think, a Seth Lover or something like that. Oh, cool. Uh, that's, that's, that's pretty much the one I use. Yeah. Um, yeah, it sounded great in Soundcheck. That's just a, yeah, the, like uh, a beefy telly. This is all uh, also one of his, Baxendale Acoustic. Um, wow. Use it on the road all the time. Yeah. And, and what kind a, of pickup do you have in? I think that's a Duncan as well. Okay. I, th I think so. Then I got an Epiphone V, and then everybody loves this thing. Everybody gets a kick out of it. It's one of Gibson's bad 80s ideas. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> a true weirdo guitar. The yeah. ugliest guitar ever made, yeah. Uh, I smashed it not long after I got it and uh, glued it back together. And so is it, a, is it a stock guitar or is it a, uh, I mean, did you, you kind of leave it stock? or? No, or? Uh, it, they don't come with P90s. So okay. after, after I broke it, I could put anything I wanted in it. So yeah. I had the guy put a P90. It sounds a lot better than yeah. what came in it. Yeah, it's very some cool. Lame humbucker. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> cool. And the and the the V's. It's a yeah. It's a Epiphone. That's an Epiphone. Yeah. Did you did you do anything to it or is that nope, like? That's all. Right out of the shop. Well, I broke it. <laughs> uh, and, uh, oh, like right here. Yeah, that's yeah. That might be part of it. <laughs> wow, man. Doing the whole Pete Townsend thing? Yeah, or, uh, <laughs> it's, yeah it's, it's, it's just fun, you know. I, yeah. usually, I, I don't have any reason for pulling it out other than it's what it is. Yeah, it, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, well, that's yeah, that's a that's that's a fun arsenal of weird yeah. weird guitars. So let's hear about this amp. Yeah, it's uh, Somatone, built in New Jersey, also kind of a custom custom shop thing. It's got uh, it's pretty no frills. I like it that way. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite amps have no more than three knobs usually. Sure. Uh, but uh, the what few bells and whistles it has are actually useful. Sure. Um, so just a 40 watt? 40 watt, all tube head. Um, it's got, you know, some of the sounds of all your, you know, like a J, little JTM 45. Yeah. Little, little Vox, little Bassman. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, little very cool. All that stuff. And what kind of cab is it? The, That's like, a 212 open back. 212 open back? Mm -hmm. It looks like you're running. Uh, Red coat, yeah, Eminence red coat yeah. speakers in it. Oh, great. Yeah, I've, I've loved it. It's been the best all around amp I've ever had. Yeah, it sounded great. It sounded great. It's been, it's reliable too. I mean, you know, I'm on the road all the time. It never breaks down. Do you travel with a backup too? or? Uh... I have an old Sound City head. Huh. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah. Have you ever had to pull it out or? Uh... It's been a long time. Oh. It's been a really long time, but I, it, that's a great head too. Yeah. It's, very cool, tried and true. Yeah. All right. Well, hey man, let's talk about your pedals. Okay. okay. Let's uh, let's see this pedal board. Kind of a no frills, uh, meat and potatoes. Very. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't use all of it. In fact, I, I haven't used either of these boosters in quite some time. I, I turned one on today because I'm running a little lower level here uh -huh. uh, for the benefit of the Ryman. Right. But uh, starts over here. It's uh, Rotavibe. Kind of does a swirly Leslie thing or a tremolo kind of thing if you switch the mode and right cry baby wah um standard of the industry yeah, yeah yeah it's you know yeah this is a this is a cool pedal I, I haven't used it much i prefer to go straight through the amp as possible sure and that amp works really well for that if using your volume knob on your guitar but that's that's a booster um it, it adds a little uh mid-range in this setting more treble up here oh so cool it, it adds some of the some of the mean tone of a distortion pedal, but it doesn't actually add any overdrive. Right. And of course, everybody knows the Boss overdrive. Yeah. Using the Roland Space Echo, because um, I, I, I mainly because of the tap tempo and kind of vintage tape sound. Right. Know? Right. But uh, it's got a million settings, and I've never even tried them all. Yeah, it's cool because it does give you an analog sound with right. tap. Yeah, you know? I, I love that. Yeah. 
This goes to the somatone, and it uh, it basically it just it basically makes your high and low gain foot switchable. Like instead of pulling out your cord and plugging it into the high gain input, yeah. it does that there. It's oh, one of the, one of the bells and whistles I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's actually like that's really practical. <laughs> yeah, I just use the AB to switch from acoustic to electric. It goes from the amp to the DI. Oh, cool. Gets and, straight into the PI. And then the poly tune. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we just got those recently. That's a good one for. Uh, we do a lot of festivals, and yeah. you, if you have to, uh, if the sun's hitting it, right. you have to have something that will, you can still see when the sun's on it, and those work great for that. Yeah, and then the Voodoo Labs pedal power powers yeah. it all. Yeah, down underneath. Great. Well, hey, man, thanks so much, and congratulations. You guys are killing it thanks right now, lot. man. Yeah, well, great. Happy touring. All right. Okay, I'm here with Patterson Hood, the founding member of Drive-By Truckers at Rhyme Auditorium. Thanks for joining us, man. Oh, man, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Yeah, my pleasure. I'm thrilled to be here. Hey, man, let's talk about this very cool little deluxe you're using. It's a, it's a uh, 72, and um, I've been using one of the, the, the reissues they have. Is it 66 or 65 yeah, reissues? Yeah. And then I found that 72 in really great shape, and it's just my baby. So, it sounds uh, great, man. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. love it. And then, uh, then I added the uh, the the Fender reverb tank. Then that's you know, it's a new one. It's just a reissue of the old school. But yeah, and uh, so that's pretty much my sound. I pretty much just go straight into that. I've got a few effects, a pretty minimum of effects that I yeah. use, but it's pretty much all dialed in right there. Right. Now, how come you're using the reverb tank separate from the uh, the internal reverb? It's just a whole nother thing. It's really? Just, just sounds uh, way better. It's so warm and it's it's kind of huge. And uh, and then that free, and then there's one song at the end of the night where I crank the other one up too, and oh. it just all goes for kind of like the finale song. Verb on but, top um, of verb. It, it's it's just a, a oceans of verb. <laughs> so and I do that for the song Grand Canyon, but for the rest of it, I just go with the tank and uh, yeah. uh, try to dial it back the mix of it to where it's not too saturated, yeah. to where there's a, a big verb but it's pulled back in the in the mixture, and then that last song uh, crank up. And it's just full on. That it's go time. Exploding space noises. Yes. Yeah. I love, love exploding <laughs> space noises. Great. Well, hey, man, let's talk about your guitars and pedal All board. right. Wonderful. Uh, so this is the humble pedal board. Right. Tell me a little bit about it. I just go into the tuner, and then um, I've got the space echo for, uh, I use it on like three or four songs. And I've got a, a real quick slapback that I use on a few more songs. And then I've got the uh, pickup booster, Seymour Duncan pickup booster. I use it a good bit. Yeah. And uh, just for just to thicken it up. It makes that deluxe kind of sing a and little bit more. For a few of the really loud songs like Lookout Mountain, I'll kick on the Super Overdrive. And uh, that's about it. The other two, they come on like maybe once every two shows. But. What were you using with your K? Uh, the K, I'm just going through the amp, and then I turn this on for uh, an instrumental section to kind of boost that upper mid tone a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, otherwise, it was just through the amp. Yeah, that sounded amazing. Yeah. Killer. Very cool. OK, let's talk about guitars. All right. All right, this, uh, this guy right here is uh, uh, Scott Baxendale, who's a luthier. We met him in uh, Denver, but he's now based out of Athens, Georgia. He built this for me. And uh, Wes Freed, that does all our artwork, um, he, instead of doing F-holes, he used Wes Freed sna the snakes that Wes does in his artwork. That's and, beautiful. Uh, and incorporated that in. And it's got the Bixby and... Um, I love these old-timey knobs. Yeah. Are they like vintage knobs? They're vintage, they... yeah. Or, or, or they, might be, uh, they might be reproductions, but, but yeah, they're it's... the vintage style. And he built this for me about a year ago, right as we were about to make our record. Oh. And I got it just in the nick of time to play it on three songs on the new record. Awesome. And, so uh, spruce top and maple back and sides, looks like? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a, yeah. It's a sweetheart. Uh, what, do you know what kind of pickups those are? Oh, Lord. Um, Humbuckers. I bet Marty knows. <laughs> Marty probably can tell you more about it than me. I'm, I'm so... Uh, then uh, that's just a, a late model Oops. Uh, Gibson SG that I keep in, uh, we tune down a whole step, but I yeah. keep this one in standard just for uh, um, for a few songs that we play in yeah. standard. And that's just uh, straight ahead stock? Yeah, it's a straight ahead stock, as is the other one, which is my main main guitar I play on, on so much of the show. This is probably eight years old, maybe, huh. and uh, they don't make it like this anymore. Did At it the time come I with bought it, cool it did. Dealer? At the time I bought it, it was the cheapest 
SG you could buy that wasn't an Epiphone. It was uh -huh. an actual Gibson. And for a couple of years, they made them with the little moon inlays. Yeah. Then they quit doing that, and the newer ones are lighter weight. I like this one better. It's I've, I've uh, broken it a couple times, and we just keep fixing it. And, That's like a you know. theme with you guys. Well, we yeah. play hard. Yeah. Uh, I've never smashed one, but I've I've had mishaps. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. That's great. And then finally. Yeah, this guy. I think that guy. was my favorite. The same guy that built this took an old K and made a Mandicello out of this. And so it's a K Mandicello built by Scott Baxendale. And uh, he does a lot of conversions. He calls them harmony conversions. Because oh, a, wow. a lot of times he uses old harmonies and yeah. old Ks and uh, uh, silver tones and yeah. things like that. And those old at the time, really inexpensive, kind of cheap guitars yeah. in their day use better wood than a lot of the even high-end guitars nowadays. It's because well, wood is getting harder and harder to come by, the old, the old growth wood. Yeah. So he uses the, the wood and everything that's still usable from the original guitar and then puts new hardware and new electronics. And, uh, and in the case of this one, he cut a new bridge and, and you know converted it to where it, it would be a eight string instead of six. So is it tuned in fifth? Like a, like this a, one's like FC, FC. Oh, but you can wow. also tune it to mandolin tuning, just, yeah. to, just an octave down, yeah. uh, which a lot of people do. But um, I just do the FC. I like the drone, the kind of modal. Kind yeah. Of. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, that sounded amazing, man. Well, how cool. Well, man, congratulations on all your success, man. man. Thank Thanks you so for much. meeting with us. Man, and thank you. Have fun out there. All right. It this, will be. It will be lots of fun. <laughs> Hey, I'm with Jay Gonzalez of Drive-By Truckers. Jay, thanks for joining yeah, us, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Hey, tell me about this very cool SG. This is a, a 68 Special uh, I bought years ago with a good buddy of mine who went out. We were poor college students who went on it together, still co-own it. and uh, Really? Both love it. Yeah, yeah, it's a, a good buddy, so that's how we kind of That is a good do. buddy, yeah. yeah. But it, and, and he lets me hold on to it, which is even even nicer of him. But uh, yeah, yeah it, it uh, it's a 68, and it has the Vibrola, um, the P90s, and just the... Uh, just my favorite neck. Totally around. stock, right? Yeah, yeah. I believe uh, uh, the, the tuners might be different, um, and I think it had, you know, had a set bridge initially, but uh, yeah. but yeah, but it's it's pretty pretty original otherwise, you know. Yeah. In really good condition. So, yeah. so um, are you reluctant to tour with a vintage I instrument? I mean, I, I I took it out because we're doing a bunch of live shows, um, and I used it for the first year, and, and I, I uh, the one I showed you earlier was a uh, um, I bought to sort of have as a road doll guitar, as a yeah. SG. 100 with a single p90 and uh with a much thicker neck and so so i've been taking that for most of the tours and uh i took this out for this this kind of a special tour so, yeah so um I, I really you know this is this is kind of the baby and uh, i've been growing to love the other one a lot too it's really it's a, it's a nice guitar um and uh that one has kind of a hotter p90 um but but they both work really well uh with the amp setup i have and everything so yeah that's like totally pete townsend man. yeah that's, that's awesome. i mean he's 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 one of my idols so yeah that was kind of the thing you know it was the pete townsend pete townsend model so yeah awesome now what um you're, you're plugged in what is your amp you're plugged it is in? uh it's made by a friend of mine a guy in uh, athens called steve his name is steve hunter and it's called a steve and uh <laughs> an ace of clubs and it's it's a really cool amp i got recently uh and he, he basically modeled the, the it has two channels. The channel I use is a, a JTM, has like the preamp of a JTM 45 going into the power amp of like a Vox AC30. So it, and it has the top boost um, of the AC30. So it has that shimmer, you know, that, that great British sound. And then the other channel is, is a Tweed Deluxe. Oh. And then, and then, but it would, uh, and it also has like a, a great reverb, you know, as well that he added that, you know, has, has uh, tone control and all kinds of stuff so, yeah and a dwell and everything so it's a wonderful thing yeah so. best of both worlds it is it is it's kind of it's, it's a great thing to have and i've been really loving it especially with this going through and stuff like that so awesome awesome yeah. man so regrettably the opening act has taken over the stage and we don't have access to your pedal board right now but can you can you remember your pedal chain try. okay uh, try it yeah. bring yourself back um i'm using a, a um a roland um leslie Simulator pedal um, yeah. for for that for that you know shimmery Leslie sound. Yeah, as a what is it RT20? Thank, thank you. <laughs> as a B3 <laughs> player, that's kind of your. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he he knows all the 
all the stuff in particular about the organ stuff. And actually, yeah. and, uh, you know, and, 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 we, and Marty was the one who suggested using that initially, but before we had a Leslie, but we were using it for that, uh, the B3. So, yeah, which um, sounds amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. And, but then, and then now we have uh, a 145 uh, Leslie with that. But, uh, so I moved that to the pedal board, and I've been using that, and um, an EP uh, boost, um, you know, the... Uh, has the preamp of the Echoplex, um, yeah. and uh, Exotic, I believe, makes it. Yeah. And I've been enjoying that. I've been kind of using that just as a boost, kind of cranking it, along with a with an MXR boost, uh, the white MXR boost pedal, and um, and then a, a custom pedal, uh, fuzz pedal, um, made by Steve, who, Steve Hunter, who made uh, oh, really? of the, of the, made the amp as well. And so, and that's just in a, in a shell, but it's a it's a cool fuzz face that that he built. So, so those are the the main pedals I'm using. And, uh, yeah, I, I love it. You guys really have like it's basically a straight ahead rock and roll amp guitar mm -hmm. with a little bit of yeah. candy on it. Yeah, and I'm one of the <laughs> recently I got a flashback pedal, you know, and, and so for delay, and I've been having fun with that. Um, for the various settings they have, um, I haven't really messed with the tone prints yet, but uh, but I've been using the, the analog settings. But then they also have the reverse guitar, which is kind of I've been playing with that a bit. We have a big ending song that we kind of have a, a meltdown at the end sonically, and that's been a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah, awesome. Yeah. When everything yeah. just explodes. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Well, man, thanks so much. Congratulations yeah. on all your success. You guys are killing it. Man. Thanks so much. Appreciate, yeah. it. Appreciate a it. gritty man. rock and roll band. Yeah, cool, man. <laughs> thanks. It's fun. Okay. <laughs> it's John Mulder. Peace out. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.